Breaking news. APC convention stated for slated for February. Tinubu's camp moves against consensual candidates. Hello, my wonderful people. That will have an adverse effect on Tinubu's dream, which is said is a long life ambition for him to become Nigerian's president. Ashwajo Amebola Tinubu is no longer renews that he intends to run for the position of the first number one person in the country. However, not without opposition. And APC will be having their convention soonest, which will prove as to who will become the party's candidate to run, you know, um, in terms of the election at the time draws closer. And um, other persons in the party have also shown interest, the likes of David Omai, uh, Governor Yahaya Bello, as well as uh, former Governor of Abia State, the, che the, ch the Senate Chief Whip, Ozo Kalo, and some other persons, and more will still be revealed. Uh, so APC convention has been slated for February. However, Tinubu's camp is moving against an intending uh, position to shave Tinubu out of his uh, or to have to nibble out of opportunity to get the presidential uh, primary ticket from his party. Let's get all the details. APC National Convention, Tinubu's camp, others moved against consensual candidates. The S Lagos State Governor's team mobilizes for direct presidential primary in the party, has moved, has removed of all primary direct primary clause which was instigated by the senate ahead of the february 26 national convention of the ruling of progressive congress apc there are on the ground move by some powerful stakeholders in the party to force a consensual candidate on members tinubu's only recently declared his presidential ambition during the visit to president muhammad buhari he declares his declaration of intent literally kicked a, started the 2023 presidential race as other interested politicians and candidates started declaring their ambition too the race to apc convention haven't been a smooth one following anti-party crisis, especially court cases against its national leadership and in some state chapters. Selection of delegates for the event, which is slated for February 26, 2022, may be another source of crisis in the party, given the fractionization of some state chapter. In affected states like Kano, Kwara, Gombe, Zamfara, some camps are loyal to governors, while some other camps are loyal to party chieftains. The former governor of Bernou and Benue State, Senator Aliu Mohammed and Sheriff, and Senator George Akimo were gathered to have kicked against a consensual candidate. It was learned that some of those moving for consensual are elements of deflection congress for, for progressive change, CPC, that is Buhari's former party before the merger. The consent, the consent among those of the CPC is based, is based on their position to bring in their candidates. CPC is blocked is that of Mr. President out of the way in 2023 party would effectively be in the hand of those who have come from the Action Congress, and that is Tinubu's party. This is what they are really scared of. So Tinubu's guys are moving and saying, we will not allow. We will not allow because if we allow these things to go on, as soon as Tinubu becomes president, his part will take over the party and will have nothing more to show or to say or to declare. And so Tinubu's men will take over the party and there will be nothing more for us as a party. So uh, they are moving against a consensual candidate. A consensual candidate is where few big boys in the party determine who becomes the party candidate for the 2023. So these persons will just sit down and decide and say, well, we think Mr. Lagbaja should fly the, prim the party's primary ticket. And Mr. Lagbaja may not be the consensual, that may, may not be the choice of everybody. 
And so this is what they are kicking against and are saying, it is not possible. We're not going to allow it. We want somebody who will be, you know, everybody will vote for. They are vying for the direct primary. We, every organ of the party will be, in, you know, will be in, involved in picking of the candidates or the other than that, they said they will be, they will be, you know, they will be chickened out and just a few individuals will select who becomes the party, you know, flag bearer. And all these are done so that Tinubu, for those who are vying for Tinubu, will get the presidential ticket. And for those who, who do not want Tinubu, you know, will use that as, as an opportunity to ensure that he does not get it. So in either, on either side, you look at it, you know, things may not be the way you thought. So there are real indications of currently what is going on. And the truth of the matter is everybody needs to come on board. Yeah, we need to come on board as to picking our candidates. If we keep quiet and everybody allow the people you think, you know, who you think because, I mean, there have been a lot of clamoring for them, becomes the president of the country, every one of us will feel the heat. So whether you like it or not, you know, there are people who apparently do not qualify for this position, yet they want to impose themselves on us at all costs, by all means necessary, whatever they need to do and however they need to do it, this is what they are doing. So every one of us must come to terms with the fact that there are people out there who are not interested in what matters or what makes this nation better and all they are bearing for is what will benefit them personally. So if you listen, I mean, for those who have, who have uh, declared intention to run, there's no problem with that. But have you listened to anything they have to say? For instance, Tinubu is telling Nigerians that the reason he wants to be Nigerian's president is that he wants to continue what Buhari has been doing. He said he wants to continue on the legacy. And Nigerians are having, asking, what legacy are you talking about? If somebody has left a legacy of infrastructure, is it the legacy of the borrowing or the legacy of insecurity? There's a lot of legacies Buhari has left. Okay, the legacy of killings, the legacy of Fulani headsmen, which exactly? But that's why he has told us that that's what he wants to do. That his sole aim and purpose is to ensure that that legacy continues. And Nigerians are asking, so this is what you want to do. However, those who are blind refuse to see and are calling out to say Tinubu will become Nigerian's president. But at the end of the day, we have to decide on who becomes Nigerian's president. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye.